We have our premium flour, concentrates. It's um, nearly summer, and at Dankridge, staff are looking forward to a flood of tourists. We know that the tourists need some place to consume. You know, it, it kind of closes the loop on this being an actual legal uh, industry. Dankridge owners plan to apply for an endorsement from the state to build an on-site consumption deck on the roof of its Spinard building. This would allow us to to bring people up there and we could have live music, we could have food and snacks and things like that. But the store must also have muni approval. Proposed on-site consumption rules at the local level are being introduced at the Anchorage Assembly. They would allow the consumption of edibles at approved retail stores, but not smoking. You can't smoke in public, you can't smoke in a park. The muni's economic and community development director says the tricky part of on-site consumption for Anchorage is that the Muni's long-standing smoking bans also apply to marijuana. There's a much larger smoking ban uh, discussion that the community and the assembly are going to have if we're ever going to allow on-site consumption by smoking or inhalation. Assembly member Christopher Constant says he started drafting an ordinance that will allow on-site consumption by inhalation, but the American Lung Association of Alaska believes that would be a mistake. So allowing for inhaled on-site consumption of marijuana is going backwards with regard to health risks on secondhand smoke. It's going backwards with regard to what this community has said is not acceptable, exposing other people to secondhand smoke. Back at Dankridge, staff say they are excited for any type of on-site consumption. Buying a J and smoking it here and then continuing your day, that's the goal. And hope the Anchorage Assembly will keep an open mind about changing local smoking laws. Shannon Ballard, KTVA 11 News.